A year-long Youth Action Council develops a program for mentoring teens by connecting them with artists, scholars, and activists so they can explore where the arts and social justice intersect. To tell us more is the no longer empty manager of education programs, Mika Lejean, nice to have you with us. Hi, Mika. Mika, yeah. I'm so sorry. That's okay. She told me beforehand, and it was only a matter of time before I mispronounced it. Mm -hmm. Mika, nice to have you with us. Thank you for having me. Um, let's just start with, to, to lay it out there, what is no longer empty, and then let's bridge into this concept of merging arts and social justice. Absolutely. So No Longer Empty curates site-responsive and community-centered art exhibitions and education programs in unique spaces all over the city. So we've done work at the Bronx Courthouse, we've done work at Kings County Hospital in East Flatbush in an unused emergency waiting room. And so our model really looks at engaging with the community from the very beginning and having a collaborative uh, curatorial model and then building education programs and then a larger exhibition from there. Who participates in those programs? Young people from the ages of 14 to 18. Uh, we also have a program called Art Zone that's a sort of community think tank. And so it collab uh, it's a collaboration between elders over 60 and teenagers. So it's intergenerational as well. You know, um, when, you, when you step back and you look at the news and you watch our kids who are 14 to 18 years mm -hmm. old, um, you don't see young people who say, hey, I want to participate in a program like this. Mm -hmm. I want to uh, do this. I believe, and you tell me if I'm wrong, that guess what? Kids really do want those opportunities and really do want to participate. How difficult is it to get them to be part of programs like the ones you're putting together? I think the biggest difficulty is not actually getting young people to be engaged in being part of the programs, but actually reaching them. I think that uh, there are just there's such a plethora of programs that are offered and there's so many opportunities and it's just really hard to find young people who have the time to do all of the things mm -hmm. um, especially for our programming we just finished a youth a young exhibition makers program in East Flatbush and we had 24 young people curate six exhibition small gallery spaces within a larger exhibition around social justice issues and the passion of these young people when talking about black identity community violence mindfulness and what that means to them is outstanding and and this does feed into what I was suggesting uh, just a moment ago that they know there's a problem they you know like all of us I know when I was younger we wanted to find ways I mean I go back a long time so we protested the Vietnam War mm -hmm. and other things we felt really strongly about now it's a lot more difficult to find avenues to, to get that uh, you know um, social uh, uh, action together um, talk to me about how you merge the arts, this is how we pre presented the mm -hmm. segment, how you merge the arts with social justice. Um, g give me the whole thing. I, mean, yeah. I don't want to make assumptions. We'll let you talk sure. about it. Sure. So uh, as No Longer Empty sort of been growing its model, we've really wanted to focus on engaging with alumni, but also more young people in a more broad sense. And so Youth Action Council is a new initiative we started this past September, so a few weeks ago, that runs September through June. And it engages with alumni from our programs. This year, the cohort is 11 students really learning about how the arts are a tool for activism. So they meet monthly, uh, bi-weekly. Each month has a different theme. So from storytelling to critical thinking and questioning and understanding what is activism to climate justice to feminism to um, immigration and migration and understanding these larger concepts. And so really engaging with activists, with scholars, with educators, artists, those who do all of those things and learning more about these issues, uh, creating events, doing programming around all of those. Mm -hmm. To me, it, it gets right into the nature of communication. So you feel this way about this particular issue, whatever mm -hmm. it is. How are you going to say it? And you say, well, I protest this. But if you just say it, it doesn't work. Find a way to make it communicate, right? That, exactly. That is it's what we want to do. Yeah, finding avenues for young people. And I think we... With social media and the ability to say things on the internet, young people feel they have somewhat, somewhat of a voice, but very much they can't vote. They aren't seen as being adults. Yep. So very often they're left sort of in this in-between stage as teenagers who have voices, who have thoughts and feelings and are passionate about things. Mm -hmm. And so it's finding outlets for them to actually talk about them. And to me, uh, it, it's much like the last segment we just did. It's about changing lives and changing attitudes. So a youngster who says, you know, I really felt strongly about this and then is part of a larger group that's creating some sort of artistic uh, installation or whatever it is you, you use 
used the word curatorial. I mm -hmm. thought that was an interesting word to use. Um, they, they do that, and then all of a sudden they say, wow, there is a way to move mountains, so to speak. Exactly. You have an event coming up, not right now, but in the spring, mm -hmm. that supports all this. We may as well promote that for you. Sure. So the group will be creating an event uh, sometime mid-March, and we're interested in partnering with different organizations, youth leaders, young people all across the city as sort of a cross-borough, multi-organization uh, event. So it's going to be a combination of groups who can set up tables and talk about their programs, young people leading workshops, leading art, youth artist panels, uh, art installations would be great as well. Um, but we're totally open and looking for anyone who's interested in partnering with us mm -hmm. to join in. You know, I just love the idea of challenging the notion that I brought up initially, and that is that kids don't care, that kids don't want to be part of. I think in this day and age, given the political climate that's out there, given the challenges um, I, I just think that, that giving them these kinds of opportunities, and I love the concept of no longer empty, and filling it up with activities for young people is really what we've got to do, not less of, but more and more of. Absolutely. Um, so uh, the, the event, how do, the, how do we get in touch with you and how do we make that happen? So uh, visit the website nolongerempty.org. There's an education page from there, Youth Action Council, and the email address is there. Great. Uh, Mika Lejean, thank you so much. Thank you, and, Gary. and really, I hope you'll come back and maybe bring some of the young people We'd with love you that. so yeah. they can show us some of the stuff they've been doing and show us how together we are all going to do good things in this world. Thank Sounds you so good much. to me. Thank you. All right. We are going to take a break. We'll be back more open. Don't go away.